movie! And welcome to the random retro bonus round. I am Joshua Caleb. And I'm Graham Ellis. And today we are doing a another PS2 game, because I seem to be collecting a lot collecting a lot of these. But I just picked this one up for dirt cheap, and it's kind of an interesting game. It involves time travel, and I don't know, I'm not too fond of time travel, but we'll see. I've always liked time travel. I could never nope. wrap my head around it. It never... Uh, no one does it right, so you just forget. There's going to be a paradox. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I know, that, that's the thing. I, everyone does it differently. There's different rules for everything. It's like... Yeah. There, there is no logic. Watch Time Cop. You know, you know, it just... Logic doesn't have to matter. <laughs> uh, okay. It's a very interesting intro. Mm, sort of Minds of Mori-ish. <laughs> yeah. Is that, it actually kind of this reminds me kind of like an old movie. And it kind of plays like an old um, 50s or 60s movie rather than a video game. Though it's actually set in somewhat modern day, but... I don't know, it just sort of reminds me of an uh, old black and white movie. It's got a, kind of an anime tone to it. It almost I know. looks like uh, that Valkyria, Valkyria Chronicles, the cell shading. Yeah. It almost looks like it's drawn with a filter over top. Yeah, which is actually weird because the game takes place in Germany. So it's kind of weird to have in Japanese anime. Oh, they do uh, uh, different places around the world. Uh, yeah, I suppose. I'm very fond of uh, Anne of Green Gables. So. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> Prologue. 2001. So when did this come out? That must have been around the time this came out then. Mm. That's about 11 years ago. So yeah. Sounds about right. So yeah, we lost the cell shading now. Yeah, and we have no idea what that whole thing meant with the fairy girl and the and the guy, right? Nope, not yet. In the intro, just nothing. <laughs> Thrown in cold. Yep, that that's pretty much what this game does from the start and all the way through. It just that sometimes cold. works. That sometimes works for a game. And my favorite game of all times, pretty much Dungeon Master, is the exact same way. You th you, you, here you go. Here's your. You figure it out as you go along. Uh huh. That, that is definitely how this game works. Oof. Face plant. <laughs> it's, it's a little hard to tell exactly what happened, but I think he got like knifed in the back or something. I think you can see a little bit of blood on his jacket, but it's like, oh, a guy just ran into him and now he's dead or something. Hmm. So yeah, right off the bat, your character dies. <laughs> <laughs> Always an auspicious start to a game, I say. <laughs> uh, yeah, they seem to be doing that a lot lately. Those are like Dark Souls, that like Kingdom of Amalur. It's like you oh, always yes. you always start out with your character dying. It's got a little bit of a alone in the dark kind of look. Yeah. What the. Oh, what's going on? What on earth could have happened? Dialogue's top-notch, you know. Dead? Bingo. Bingo. Who, who's there? Oh, camera angle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we are dead. 
And, oh, there's uh, there's the quote the of the day. How how does it feel to be dead? <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon if I've offended you. Oh, it feels pretty good, actually. <laughs> you see, you are destined to die. Oh, and that's another nice thing to hear. What? But if you have the will to somehow reverse that fate by yourself, I can lend you some measure of strength. How about it? Ah, the plot thickens. Thanks. So you use time travel to save yourself. <laughs> uh, there's a paradox. <laughs> of course not. I get it. Well, so the one lesson about time travel, anything, is that logic has no place in it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's my problem. I'm too logical. Yeah, they can try to give you some kind of logical explanation as to how he was able to change his his self, you know, the the timeline, and still be able to know how to change the timeline and not create a paradox. But quite yeah. frankly, it just doesn't work. It's okay. So now he's gonna think about whether or not he wants to try and save himself from death. You either just die. I'm not quite sure what there is to think about, but <laughs> yeah, maybe he didn't like how things were working out. Sorry, I called you the devil. But is, that, is it still suicide after you die? <laughs> yeah, I wonder. That, that, that would be an interesting study. You know? If you die, but then you have the chance to come back, if you refuse, does that mean you just committed... Well, suicide. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Paradox. <laughs> Doesn't have to make logical sense. Uh, Man. But that can't be helped. You're right. But that's also where your own strengths come into play. Okay, so we get to come come back to life, and then we have to figure out how to stop getting from being killed. Hmm. I'm going to give you I think it would be easy. You show up uh, just before you walk by, and machine gun the guy. <laughs> yeah. <just> killed you. <laughs> <laughs> well, see the he the 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 person whatever that's talking said that um you can't just avoid it you have to f destroy the underlying cause of your death ah get it at its very root you can't just go oh i was gonna get stabbed here so i'm gonna go this way <laughs> okay yeah so you can't just take a vacation on that day and go you know fly to tahiti yeah because then someone kills you on the way to flying to Tahiti. Yeah, the plane blows up or something like that. Okay, so now I have a digipad or a digipad or whatever it is they call it. As soon as it begins to respond, it's usable, and you can select the digipad by pushing on the square button. I can't tell what that's supposed to look like. Um, almost kind like, of like a book with corners messing up. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I get it. That's nice. They auto select the okay, I get it rather than no, tell me again. I just use it when you're about to die. It's better to make use of it to remove the underlying cause. Yeah, see, we're supposed to remove the underlying cause of our death. So apparently there's a conspiracy surrounding our existence. So. If the response begins, we have to figure out who has it out for us. Now, does this game have one protagonist uh, or one uh, person that killed you, or is it able to uh, fork that out depending on your input? Um, That's an inter. I, not having played it. I'm trying. I, I haven't actually finished it myself, but. Um, I think it's fairly linear. Um, you basically okay. spend the entire game trying to avoid death. And there's like different chapters, and I think at the beginning of each chapter, you die another way. <laughs> so, <laughs> chapter one, we figure out how to avoid getting stabbed in the back. Are you alright? Well, chapter two comes out, we get poisoned. So now we have to figure out how to stop that. And it's basically it's something different every time. I don't know if it's the same person or if it's, this is just some giant conspiracy or. Sir. I can't remember if it has multiple endings. Hmm. 
Apparently there's a PlayStation Portable version of it. Yeah, that's the one I had. Oh, and now we're totally freaking out the waitress. Huh? Oh, oh, sorry. I, I fell asleep. Yeah, there is some changes within, depending on your actions. Okay, that, I can't remember. There's eight different did. endings. <laughs> oh, that's right. There was. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, six available at first, and then you have to unlock the other two by achieving the first six. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that's... Eight times a gameplay. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh. Uh, the game is 80 hours long. <laughs> hmm. Can I move? No, I can't. I, uh, I'll, I'll just leave what I owe for the coffee here. Yeah, I said now, we're, now that we know that we're going to die, we're going to be super paranoid of everyone you talk to. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to kill me? Yeah, apparently it came out for the PC. Mm, and the far. Xbox. I still can't believe what just happened. But since I have this digipad here, I guess it really did. Why the heck do they call it a digipad? Couldn't they think of a more creative name? Tempest something? I don't know. Temporal pad. Temporal Temp tablet. Tempest Temporal novelist, tablet. <laughs> sir. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, here we go. Out in the middle of the street, no direction. They could have called it Digipad because of this. The, what it was originally in Japanese was different than what they expected it, you know. Yeah, I suppose. Tra lost in translation. Yeah. Who knows? Let's talk. What do you have to say? What do you want? Okay. And he gets arrested for talking to little girls. Ugh. <laughs> 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 Yeah, there's all there's all kinds of ways you can lose this game. Who are you? Me? A performer? Uh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, but the square does get a lot of performers. You kind of look like a performer, lady. It's kind of nice. You totally look like a clown. Oh yeah, <laughs> Raggedy Ann. <laughs> uh, what do you? Life is so boring, isn't it? Anything I can do for you? Her eyes are creepy. Yeah, I know. The, these people's faces are, um... <laughs> not very well rendered. Well, uh, there were, were some complaints about that when the game first came out, that the uh, polygon count, count was a little low for the uh, characters. Well, isn't it just me, or does this, does this guy's physique remind you of um, Jack from Nightmare Before Christmas? The fact that he has more leg than anything <laughs> else in his yeah, and the wa and and it, his legs never really do straight. <laughs> you know, he's always got that yeah. bend in his knees. <laughs> uh oh, what's happening? There's a swell in the music, so you gotta look around and make sure there's no one behind you. Oh yeah, and this game runs in real time too. Yeah. Mm. There's two clocks or something. I guess this is as far as I go. Really? Just because of the dumb dog? So you have 2001 to explore, 1980, 1902, and 1580. Oh, wow. Now, I've got to tell you that most times people are killing you, or the underlying cause of someone trying to kill you, it has nothing to do with something that happened in the 16th century. <laughs> yeah, um, that would be a pretty gi ginormous conspiracy. 
that you're some descendant of some long line of, um, I don't know, treasure hunters, politicians, Templars, or... It'd have to be like the Assassin's Templars thing, where, uh, like, he's an assassin and the Templars have been trying to kill his kind or something for generations kind of thing. Yeah, Assassin's Creed kind of did that with the... Yeah. 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 But just being an average Joe, I, I don't think there's going to be a giant conspiracy going all the way back to the 15th century. What's this? Bar zoom E. -E or zoom E. Oh, it's closed. So, where the heck are we supposed to go? Um, I have an, I have an inventory here. Postcard. Ooh, we look at the postcard, nothing happens. What's the postcard of anything in the map of this town? Um, I don't know, wouldn't let me look at it. If I can't use it for talking, maybe I can use it for something. Why would you use a phone for anything but talking? <laughs> you pick locks with it. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, hotwire a car. Um. There's so much happening, I'd better write them, write them down. Okay, wait. You are fated to die this day. If you wish to prevent it, use the digipad. Not for work until I respond, whatever. Right now, I wish there was someone I could talk to, but who could I talk to about the situation? So you gotta go find someone to talk to. Is the uh, postcard a clue as to what's on it? Um, I don't know. I got a map. That doesn't help. Um, the phone. The postcard is a view. For, yeah, see, so it just. Oh, it's a postcard. Huh? Well, that was my chance. <laughs> you know, the, remind they me. They gotta of give you some clue as to where to go, rather than just randomly searching the whole place. But apparently not. <laughs> uh oh. Or we're messing it, anyways. So our doom is drawing closer. He keeps pausing to give you that dramatic swell in music and So What's on the map? Cafe, former alchemist, the bar was closed, bakery, antique shop, city hall, Photoshop Franson. That postcard. Oh, there's some... glowing things, right? Yeah. The the dots is where we can go. At least I think. So the cafe is the closest. Which that's where we just were. <laughs> is that or cafe or, or coffee? Or what? Why? The cafe door freaked him out. Okay. Um, we're going... And another dog. I think the dogs have it out for him. As I go. So all, the, all these dogs are coordinating to keep him to block off part of the city so you can't go there. Former, well, I don't know, maybe an alchemist would know something about death or hmm, fortunes told. Fortune teller. Okay, there we go. Well, I never noticed this place before. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, spooky fortune teller house. Of course you have. 
<laughs> She's the fortune teller, right? <laughs> Am I going to die soon? You're already dead. <laughs> You're a zombie, dude. I really need this. Please, don't just give me the usual niceties. This is very serious for me. Don't. Yeah, because I already died once. <laughs> but if you know you died once and now you went back why do you need a fortune teller to tell you you're gonna die again unless you forgot your watch the fate i see will befall you for certain but i seem to see in you so apparently we're gonna die at 2 30. i don't know i can I, yeah i keep looking at this guy and all i can think of is uh for you should be there on Final Fantasy or something with a sword. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you have a giant six foot long sword and bell bottom pants or something. Or those pantaloons. Puffy shirt. <laughs> yeah. Or no shirt. Some of those guys have, don't have shirts. So that you would not be by yourself unprotected. But then what? If you are among others at the fated hour, uh, so this is important. Okay, so we so have you to have to be at two thirty when you're supposed to die. You need to be in a crowd. Uh huh. Okay. So how do we create a crowd? Follows it. How it changes. No one can tell. There are two. Does this fortune teller have a face or just hair? She's wearing a veil, I think. I cannot help you with what lies so far ahead. And your actions could bring even greater danger. Oh, is this something where by saving ourselves we actually cause a building to collapse and kill tons of other people or something? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> well, one of those bizarre twisted realizations, you know, the person goes back and they prevent this one person's death and then come to find out, oh, by saving them, you doomed all these thousands of other people. Or you step on a butterfly and someone else wins in an election. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, my, dig my digit pad is glowing. Okay. Means it's getting... Glowing. Okay, we're... There we go. So we can go to the past. If I wait, what? Oh, oh, so it's 2:10 right now. So obviously we don't have enough time to gather a group of people before 2:30. So we have to go to 1:30. Hmm. <laughs> so we're just, we're just gonna move an hour in the past. Oh yeah, just do that right in front of the fortune teller. Oh, now it's count- <laughs> Okay, here's where it starts to get twisted. It's counting down yep. the present time as well as their current past time. Yeah. So we still have to make sure we finish before it's 2.30. Oh, okay, whatever. Uh, excuse me, have you seen a man walking around here? Um, no. Nah, I don't see anybody. I see a dog. Oh, you again. What? Looking for a date? Do me a favor. Go away. I look strange. Mind your own business. Okay. So I think you need to talk to everybody. Yeah, that seems, that seems to be the solution for... Oh, that little girl was there. Oh, okay. Ah. Have you seen my mother? Okay. Snotty little thing. Oh, there's one okay. that's going to the square. So we directed them. So we got one person so there. The old lady somewhere. Okay. So I thought I saw oh, wait, her. What's this glowy thing? Energy cube. 
Who? Ah, energy units. Nice. So those, I think, are green on the map, aren't they? Uh, the, no, those are the green squares underneath the time. I think that... I think they... Every time you time travel, you use a charge or something. Yeah. Hmm. You want me to come to the square at 2.30? She What's is going creepy. To in the square? A performer, maybe. Well, all right. I don't have anything else to do anyway. Yes, okay. because you're bored. Yeah, so why not go to the square? <laughs> so, mm, where's more people? Uh, dead end. So we got two people at the square. Uh huh. Including that crazy-looking clown lady. Yeah. Girl mentioned a mother. Yeah, and then the other lady was looking for a man. Yeah, so we might find a couple more. Mm -hmm. We've got some streets that we haven't... Oh, oh I wait. see someone hey, down yeah. there, isn't there? Is this the mother? Who is this? Have you seen my girl? <laughs> Ooh, at the square. Oh, thank you. I, she, I thought I saw someone around the corner there, too. Yeah, she sounds way older than she looks. But my yeah, thing more is... like a grandmother. Oh, this little oh, girl. My, my thing's flashing again. So is that everybody? It's only... Maybe. It's only 2.15 in the present, though. Yeah. So I guess let's see if we can find that other, that other guy. This music Maybe is it's weird. trying to tell you to f that you like it only only when you complete something does it flash. So obviously we've completed it, right? Yeah. So there must not be a guy. Yeah. All right. Go back. So we need to go to the square, obviously. <laughs> yeah, and hopefully there will be enough people there. To scare off our assassin. So it's 2.15. So do we have to really wait 15 minutes? Or is it automatically going to trigger? I hope it automatically triggers the event. Oh, well, what do you know? There's a performer. Sure, it's not the Assassin's Creed. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe we should hang back. Maybe hey, here's a guy with no worries. Hopefully, he doesn't have throwing knives in those balls. <laughs> oh, there's a shadow. And the What's shadow. Yeah, turns he's turning around away. and walks off. Ah, we saved ourselves from death. There was someone behind me. Yeah. Like the crowd scared him off. Way by, way behind oh, you. That fortune teller, she told me to come back. I should go look her up again. Aha. Uh -huh. Sure, why not? Prologue completed. Twenty-five minutes. And yes, you want to save. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> this isn't exactly a fast-paced game. No, as most of these are not. You know, they're not first-person shooters. They're puzzle games. Walk around, talk, walk, talk, walk, talk, explore, go back, talk some more. <laughs> Don't die. Get killed. Did my bad end. Change? Bad end. <laughs> <laughs> Did anything happen? There's always more bad ends than good ends in these games. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, so now what does the fortune teller have to say? Um, uh, you need to pay me now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would, no, sorry. I was expecting you. <laughs> you have been defying fate, haven't you? I am beginning to see a new thread. But, ah, oh, you are still in danger. Oh, uh, yep. We're still going to get. Oh, okay. <laughs> And I still haven't gotten to the root of the problem. So now, now our death has all moved up half hour. <laughs> Excuse me, but what have you done to get to the root of the problem? You talked to an old lady, a, a rather younger woman, but still too old, and a and a girl. 
and you create, and you've got a, yeah, and you got a performer to perform in the town square. Yeah, yeah. That is it the root of the problem? Yeah. Somebody still get it out for you. Ooh, power cell. Okay, so I guess I should consult my trusty journal. To look around and see if anything... So, okay, so now we're just spotting the differences, or what? Hmm. Well, once you head to the square... Well, there's a performer. He's still here. Yeah. What does he gotta say? <laughs> Nothing? Nothing. You watch him. <laughs> I guess. I do that. You can. Okay. Um... Oh, there's that lady again. Is there something going on at the bar? What's with all the noise? Okay. Oh, bar. that's a clue. Where's the bar? Bar Zoom L. How's to the left, right? Uh, to your kind. right, right down the end of the street to the right. Last house. Um, that's the cafe. We'll go down further. I have to say, this music gets kind of repetitive. Oh my. I'd say the bar is burning. Yeah, okay. Let's talk to um, the people there, I guess, maybe. <laughs> Jeez, I don't think anybody can make it out of that mess. Oh, upstanding kid. <laughs> uh, yeah. So... Check him for matches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, so I can go into the burning building. Is it three o'clock or... yet? <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Oh, wait, boy crying. His mother or... Okay, yeah, his grandfather's in there, so we have to go in and rescue him. And I'm guessing we get killed. I'm thinking you die, yep. <laughs> the heat of you know, the fire is too great. It's too dangerous. <laughs> I'll try getting inside. Uh, what do we pick? I suppose it probably doesn't matter. It's probably just going to be no... Probably won't let me Sorry, do anything. Kid. Damn, where's the fire department? Or, you know, Is your thing flashing? Nope. Let's see if I try to go in again. Are you getting oh. my grandpa? <laughs> yep. <laughs> no way, kid. I just can't. Sorry, kid. Damn, where's the fire department? So, yeah. Real branching dialogue tree. Are you gonna help my grandpa? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Well, we got a save game. It's not exactly uh, far between saves, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Whoa. <coughs> well, that was effective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you effectively killed yourself. Um, I wonder if you can use your the digi pad to. Uh, Travel back in time and prevent the fire. Yeah, you'd think. But it wasn't flashing. That's true. Okay, so now it's gonna send me back. Where is it gonna send me? Back to 210. Back. Wait! Oh, now it's flashing. Not a good time. Power cell. Pick it up. Aw. You're full. Fine. So now we're going back to two o'clock. <laughs> now you hopefully pick up the power cell when you get back. I wonder if it's going to drop me right in this bar. Yeah, that'd be hard to explain. Yeah, I know. Magically appears as a giant green bubble. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I just came from um, two, two hours in the future. Oh, no, it's going to drop me outside the bar. Yeah, how would you explain that? I come from 40 minutes in the future. <laughs> Our bar is behind you, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So, what happens if we go in? It's closed. Okay, where's that kid? That, that shifty looking kid? Hmm. I wonder if we find him. Hmm. I think we might be running short on time on our recording. Mm. <laughs> well, you're never going to get through this whole thing anyways. <laughs> no, I, I don't think we're going to be able to make it past this chapter. <laughs> uh, we, have, we may have to save this, put this on a list of games um, to do a total playthrough. Mm. It'll probably only take about, I don't know, 10 episodes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm thinking 12. <laughs> yeah, maybe 12. If we want to yeah. do all the endings, 36. <laughs> well, actually, it could get faster because after you do it a couple, after you do a couple of those endings, you'll start figuring out exactly what to do. And, and by the time you get, it. yeah, by the time you get to that eighth ending, you'll just be in a speed run. So yeah, that was Shadow of Destiny, <laughs> a um, interesting time travel game. And I don't think you can, well, you might be able to pick up the PSP version, but I think it's kind of hard to find. Yeah, it wasn't one of Konami's uh, bigger um, successes. No, I don't think they've started a franchise with this Ike character. So that would be interesting. So, well, thanks everyone for watching, and be sure to check us out in iTunes or on the blog retrogamesforever.com. And until then, we will see you randomly sometime next week. We'll be expecting you. <laughs> that we will. <laughs>